Hi there everyone, it's Blondie. I get a lot of questions about who's Blondie and why is she selling shoes. So we're going to do a little mini series and I'll tell you all about it. Bear with me, I'm doing this on a webcam so I'll get better equipment here soon, okay? I'm a little shy being in front of the camera so it's a lot easier to talk, do it with my feet, <laughs> while I tell you my story. Started about the year 2000, I had a thrift store, and we would get in some shoes that were high dollar shoes, instead of putting them on the rack for a dollar, I would sell them on eBay. Yeah, I don't like eBay anymore, I've got issues with them, but that's a whole other episode. Uh, so, I started selling the shoes on eBay. And uh, I would get questions like, do they smell? Let me turn the music down. <laughs> and uh, I would say, oh, they don't smell. Why would I list them if they smell? It didn't take me long to realize that there is a market for smelly shoes. And you know, it makes sense. Pheromones. I mean, you know, everyone's got them. It's natural human instinct. Why wouldn't there be a market for it? So I tested it out. Sure enough, big market for it. So over the years, I would sell off my own shoes here and there, just as I wore them out. Don't like getting rid of my shoes very often. Um, I did have a head injury. I, I have a certain connection to my shoes. And a lot of it is because of the fact that uh, memories, my recall, is kind of bad. So my shoes kind of bring it home for me. So getting rid of them is kind of difficult. But if I get rid of them to someone who loves them, would appreciate them, give them the care and attention that I did, maybe it's not so bad. Because my family is getting on me about room for the grandbaby and... No, no more room for my shoes, so I've been left with no option but to clear out some of my collection, which pains me. <laughs> it's not as easy as people think. <laughs> That's why I've chosen a certain crowd to rehome my shoes in. You know, it seems fair to me, it does. But that's how I found out about the shoes and what kind of attention the shoes used shoes actually get. So, it started there. My shoe collecting started back when I was about six years old. Started with a pair of candies. The wooden candies, the slip-on ones. Still, my absolute favorite shoe. Absolutely love them. And it started with that, I just, then after the head injury, I couldn't get rid of any of my shoes. They became an emotional attachment to me. So, but it's time to move on. I've gotten better, a lot better. Life is good. And I guess it is time, it's probably healthy for me to get rid of some of my shoes, to rehome them, as I say. We'll stop there. Everybody have a good day. I'll be back with more of my story in episode two. I hope you enjoy. I'd like to see you come over to Blondie's used smelly shoes.com. My daughter's joined in the fun with me. She's finally saw the excitement I get out of it. So hey, we're doing it. <laughs> see you there. Bye.